Hello, my name is Jeremy Kay, and I'm a musculoskeletal radiologist from Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Your doctor has asked that you have a special test of your shoulder, one that we call an MR arthrogram. This test has been chosen because it shows parts of your shoulder that are not clearly seen on usual studies, including usual MR and on other standard x-rays or on CT. Among the reasons that your doctor may have requested this test include an unstable shoulder, which could have resulted from a prior dislocation, some suspected cartilage abnormalities, or possibly suspected tendon tears at the shoulder, which are sometimes referred to as rotator cuff tears. This test is done in two parts. An injection procedure is done first using x-ray fluoroscopy, which allows selection of an injection site. And then a second part, an MR study of your shoulder, is performed. Before the test, you should be sure to tell the radiologist if you have any allergies. For the injection procedure, you will be asked to undress, put on a gown, and lie on an x-ray table. A site for placement of a needle into your shoulder will be chosen using x-ray fluoroscopy, a procedure which allows the radiologist to see your shoulder and to choose the best site for injection. Your skin will then be cleaned and a local anesthetic injected. You may feel a burning sensation when the anesthetic is injected. A needle will then be placed into your shoulder joint. While the needle is being placed, you may feel pressure, but you should not feel pain. You should tell the radiologist if you feel any pain during this part of the procedure. Once the needle has been successfully placed into your shoulder, the radiologist will then inject some MR contrast material, which will serve to outline the various parts of your joint. After the injection procedure, you will be asked to move to another room which contains the MR scanner. During the MR portion of the study, a large number of images of your shoulder will be obtained, and these will be carefully studied by the radiologist. Because of the large number of pictures that are obtained, you should not expect to know the results of the test at the time of the study. However, a report will be sent to your referring physician. After the procedure, you should have no lasting effects, and you can return to work or go home, but you should avoid strenuous exercise for about 24 hours. Examples of the types of images that can be obtained using this test are shown here. The long arrows show the upper arm bone, or humerus, at the end near the shoulder. The short arrows show the white material representing the contrast which has been injected into the joint, outlining various structures within the joint. You'll be able to find additional information in another podcast called Body MR and at radiologyinfo.org under the heading of Arthrography. Thanks for listening. Recorded February 2010. For more information and updates, please visit radiologyinfo.org.